sure most of you guys do. Um, I was browsing YouTube because I spend a uh, vast majority of my time uh, when I'm watching something on YouTube because, of course, I love the platform and that is why um, I am a contributor to this platform. And something interesting I came upon was a little clip here of Dave Rubin interviewing Roaming Millennial. Now, Roaming Millennial is a uh, conservative, uh, your typical anti uh, that you'll see nothing special whatsoever. Um, but something interesting here, right? Because uh, Dave Rubin had this disagreement with uh, David Packman recently on his, on his show. It's not on board that it's a problem to the degree that you think it is. And I think it's really easy to look at these isolated incidents and believe that it represents everybody on the left, but I'm just not seeing it. Well, first off, I've never said it represents everybody on the left. It represents what the mainstream left has become, mm. without question. Now, we can just disagree mm. on the percentage there, and that's yeah. fine. You know, David Pagman said, you know, our disagreement lies in that I think that these, you know, SJWs and whatnot are very small amount of people, uh, whereas you think that it's like the vast majority or it's a good amount or it's half, which is truly ridiculous, of course. It, the SJWs that you have that are the authoritarian people who are actually authoritarian, some of them do get smeared, but most of them, they don't get smeared. They're just being dicks, but uh, like blocking speakers and things like that. So those people are a very small vocal minority within the left. And uh, it's, you know, it's hurting. It's hurting the left's cause, clearly. Uh, somebody who would be ideal for the left is Secular Talk or uh, David Pakman. Those are the two main ones, I would say. But anyway, so check out this clip right here. Uh, Dave Rubin is trying to spit his nonsense. Um, and Roaming Millennial says that it is just a very vocal minority. Check it out. I think there's been some wins finally over the last couple of months against the, the bigoteer thing and the SJWs and all that. Um, do you sense the tide turning? I mean, I know more and more people are coming to people like us about this stuff, but that doesn't mean that they're weakening in and of itself. No, I, I definitely think that things are starting to change. And the, the longer I've had my channel, the more I think I've come to realize that, you know, these regressive, these social justice warriors, I don't know if they were ever actually the majority so much as a very vocal and, you know, well-positioned minority. And I think, you know, what, what I love so much about, you know, this... I, skeptic community, whatever you want to call it, is that, you know, it's not even a left versus right thing anymore. There, there are tons of people who are speaking out about these issues from all sides of the political spectrum. I saw is Roaming Millennial explaining to Dave Rubin that this is not the entire left. This is actually just a vocal minority. This was interesting to see because, uh, you know, I took a look at her videos and it seemed to be the case that uh, it was a very, you know, typical anti-channel. And so, you know, it's like social justice is cancer. And um, I don't know where these people encounter all these, you know, SJWs. Like, I'll see a few on Twitter, but like, who gives a fuck about that? Like, the idea of just centralizing a whole channel on that is truly, like, remarkably stupid to me. Um, not to say that, that that's not her channel. It's not totally surrounded by that. But uh, there are a lot of channels that are. Um, but anyways, something interesting for you guys to think about. Let me know what you guys think down below. What's up, guys? It's Saul Hill here. If you guys are watching the Progressive Voice, make sure you guys click subscribe down below. We're fighting Donald Trump tooth and nail, and we need your help.